Good morning, and welcome back to the 2014 Core 77 Design Awards. I'm Sarah Spear, and I'm the Program Manager here in New York City. And this is our last day of announcements, so thank you so much for joining in this morning to check out the furniture and lighting category. I've got the team live in Beijing right now, so I'm going to go ahead and pass it over to them, and they're going to tell you who they selected. Hughes, we're sitting in Beijing right now and to announce the Core 77 2014 furniture and lighting category uh, winners. And before uh, we start, I would like to introduce ourselves and the, the jury members. My name is Nai Han Li. I'm a furniture designer based in Beijing. And uh, this is uh, our team member, the jury, Ben. <laughs> My name is Ben Hughes. I am the professor of industrial design at the Central, of Ac Central Academy of Fine Arts here in beautiful Beijing. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's very nice of you to say that. <laughs> well, our other uh, jury members uh, would like to apologize. Unfortunately, they cannot be here today. Uh, the other team members are uh, Isabel Pascal, founder of Wu Hao, the curated shop in Beijing, and uh, Mr. Wu Xiuxong, the president at Sino Crane Group in China and the vice president at Chinese Furniture Association. And that's the four of us that make the team uh, of the, this year's furniture and lighting uh, selection. So, you know, we would like to, we're very honored to be doing this, and uh, we've been, received all these amazing uh, entries this year from the student and the professional uh, categories. And uh, it has been a tough choice, actually, to pick our notable, notable and uh, runner up winner. I think uh, before we started, we, we just wanted to say uh, how excited this year's uh, entry looks seem to all of us that people's uh, attention on new technology and uh, in materials and you know the new wave or sort of traditional new ways to enhance or improve design. And then I think Ben here, we both have we like to share our. Feel feelings, you know, excitement for this. <laughs> you can do better. Than me. <laughs> um, well, yes, as uh, Nihan said, the the uh, jury process was uh, long and involved, and we enjoyed the entries very much. So, uh, thank you very much for everyone who entered. And um, yeah, it was a tough it was a tough job, but an enjoyable one. Yeah, it was. And so let's just try go right into it. I think um, let's start it with the students category uh, this year. We have a few notables, and uh, here we'd like to start presenting our first one. Okay, so the first uh, in the student category uh, for a notable uh, mention is the Morgan Felt. Folding Stool by Brett Meller of Brigham Young University in Utah. Um, the jury felt that this uh, flat pack origami seating with a bold and contemporary look uh, was very uh, interesting and innovative, and we thought the combination of techniques resulted in a novel, um, uh, a novel piece of furniture. So that's our first notable. And uh, the next one, the second notable is the project called Ego by Sebastian Almer of University of Art Braunschweig in Braunschweig, Germany. And uh, what we liked about this piece is uh, it's actually a new material. It's fully composable, actually made of eggshells. And just something that, you know, and they created a system that you can apply a certain customization through so it's just an, an exciting to see new material be applied in students furniture making so that's our second one and we're going to the third one okay a third notable entry is a boy by Carl Frederick Schultz of Bezalel Academy I think in North America you may call it buoy <laughs> um, right. boy, <laughs> boy. Uh, being a Brit uh, <laughs> This is a, a, um, a great piece of design. Uh, it, it em embraces the spirit of uh, DIY. Uh, it has this uh, interesting deconstructed look. Uh, it looks like it could be made by anybody. It looks like it could be made by part from parts lying around. It's hard to see exactly um, how well it perform. Uh, we looked at the video, and it was it was convincing, but <laughs> maybe not 
entirely clear how uh, how robust it was going to be, but um, it looked like great fun, um, and uh, yeah, we really enjoyed it. I think it's good to, to see people using not uh, in a range of uh, really high tech things at the same time. You can still make very interesting things out of uh, things that are just lying around you, mm. and that goes goes to our the sec next notable actually. It is again another. Is the this next notable is the Lemon Air Deco headboard by April Tapley of San Francisco State University, and uh, what we like about this one is, again, is very humble, simple looking, but using the material you can actually gather around uh, very easily. But it's completely environmental friendly. But then they solve this very important issue of. Uh, you know, clean air, fresh air in your bedroom. So it's a headboard actually made out of natural gravel and with a computer fan that purifies your air when you're sleeping, which is something we feel very important in Beijing, actually. It's close to our hearts. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, uh, okay, then we go to our next notable. Okay. The uh, next notable is a product called Flippo by So Yun Choi. Of the School of Art Institute in Ch School of Art Institute of Chicago in Chicago. Um, this is a, a light and portable LED lamp um, that challenges the idea that domestic products need to be hard, cold, and machine-like. So this is soft, fuzzy, friendly, and looks like uh, something that you would want to have around the house. Yeah, but there's lots of uh, all of these years lighting is really Quite it's all about LED. Everyone is like really trying to jump into this new exciting development that you know allowing you to do way more than the traditional lighting design. So it's great to see students started playing with it. So our next notable is uh, our next notable is what is it? <laughs> Foamy Wood by Ming Kong of the Royal College of Art in London. Uh, this chair is uh, is a kind of experiment to merging two materials, uh, the normal chair, and fill up the void with something surprising as a foam, and it's just giving this very extra sensation while you're sitting down. So it's a, some it's an elegant looking piece of work, and uh, it brings it just except experiment in a way, it's not necessarily all just in very practical ways, I guess. And you know you can still adding something. A little bit more, and then change what we know every day from everyday life. So encouraging students to tr try. We hope to see things coming from all ends, where in terms of student experiments. So our next notable, again. The next notable is the Plus Pendant by Andy Joe of Monash University Plus S C S I R O in Melbourne, Australia. Um, so in this design, uh, you can see he's using OLED, uh, organic LED lamp uh, panels, um, uh, to create a range of lighting effects through through moving these um, flexible wings. Uh, and it's a, we felt that it was a clever and novel use of the technology, um, and a fun fun concept. Yeah, it's, it's changed the light from an ambient light to a more focused light just by the flexibility of motion. So it's a it's pretty, it's very interesting piece. So we like to, that's of our all notable this year. Now we're going to go to the runner-up <laughs> of this year's students category. So this year's runner-up, we would like to select the, dynam uh, the dynamic standing desk. But Brian Pugh and the Connor Brown of Virginia Polytechnic Institute and State University in Blackburg, Virginia. Um, what we like about the standing chair is that the clever use of something as commercial as a, you know, as economical as a belt makes the desk design more than a, a place to lay your books. So it is a simple yet effective solution to rest in a public space allowing one to fully engage with others, even if the interaction will last longer than your light can stand. <laughs> so the standing decks also give a new function to an existing furniture type, 
with a very minimal alteration. So that's what the reasons we felt like the standing desk, uh, you know, is very practical and then very simple looking, but you know, just having this extra element that which you know you can do a great piece of design yeah. with just a little of that. And uh, yes, now we're exciting to announce the winner of this year's student category. Okay, and the winner of this year's student uh, category is the Soak Charging Table by Yumin Vincent Kim of Art Center College in Pasadena. Uh, this is an innovative charging side table uh, with uh, wireless technology to um, charge your mobile devices. Uh, this is a, a thoroughly modern hybrid in a slip package. Uh, the leg emerging from the wall accommodates the power plug is an artistic solution to the inelegance of wired products. Our daily need to repeatedly charge our digital devices can now be achieved casually by leaving them on a side table. We thought this was a thoughtful and functional object that surprises you by the advanced technology embedded within a playful yet elegant form. So congratulations all the students, uh, notable and uh, runner -up winners. So um, we now want to get, like to go into the professional one now. <laughs> um, so this year's professional um, is amazing how many amazing um, entries we got. We got people you know, from the industry leaders from all over the world and uh, it's really a thrill. It's a very tough choice to pick mm. the winners out of this category very seriously. <laughs> um, now we we like to present the Course M7 Design Award Lighting Furniture Professional Category winner. First, let's go through the notables. Okay. And uh, okay, so the first notable we would like to introduce is is the, the light. I didn't practice this name. <laughs> Hexalampara. <laughs> Hexalampara uh, by Patricio Ortiz of Planitia in Santa Catarina, Mexico. Uh, apologies for the. Uh, unrehearsed pronunciation. <laughs> um, so this is a polypropylene uh, lampshade. It can be used as a ceiling or floor lamp, uh, exploring hexagonal cell geometry between two surfaces. So uh, we really like this. Um, of course, there are thousands of polypropylene lampshades out there. Um, you really need to do something special to stand out. And this one does. It's simple, it's surprising, and it's, it's very uh, very pleasing to look at. So congratulations. And it's also very uh, accessible in terms of this economic prices. And so you can have an art form in your household. And uh, that's, I think, in a way design should do, really, let everyone enjoy. <laughs> so the next one, the next notable um, is Lamp Rima by Matthias uh, Pinkert in Dresden, Germany. Uh, I apologize for my bad <laughs> pronunciation, but um, this this light is a very is futuristic looking, and then you know it's surprising to see how this something like this is already available in in our life. And it is a light, it's LED lighting, and uh, we're making turning on and off the lights as interactive as you open up your curtains. Because it has four rings, and then you can actually adjusting which light bulb on the strip will be on and off by just simply sliding them around, and it's very amazing to have you know technology available like already and on design uh, people can actually enjoy at home. Mm -hmm. So that's our second notable, and then we go to the third one. Mm -hmm. The uh, next notable entry is the Public Office Landscape by Eve Bahar and Fuse Project in San Francisco for Herman Miller. Um, um, obviously, this is a, you know, a big project um, yeah. informed by um, in-depth research, um, and we felt that the, uh, the solution uh, embodied that very well. And uh, thanks to the flexibility of this office furniture, uh, contemporary office life can start to include a sense of individuality and community at the same time. 
Okay, well, the next notable is also to do with Office, <laughs> but that's instead of a, a, a modular system, this is a single desk. Actually, um, it's a new form hook desk by Karim Rashid in New York, New York City, and this is for a uh, new form Euphasia. Euphasia, right? Euphasia. Yeah. Yep. So, and in we just saw that modular system where here there's one desk actually most noticeable uh, feature is the hook that actually is a, a whole ring of LED light producing a very subtle ambient light for your work environment and this modular desk has all different fixtures you can adjust and then you know separation uh, the screen in the back will give you the privacy where you still the entire feel of this office of furniture is let you be in a very open and airy space, place to work under a very, under a very stylish, you know, designed uh, office table. <laughs> mm -hmm. So that's uh, the next notable. And uh, well, we the next notable for the professional category. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this is the uh, multi-dine high chair by Keta Kids Development Team in Yoknim, Israel. <clears throat> Again, um, there's there's a lot of innovative kids' chairs out there, and to stand out, you've got to do something special. This one really does that uh, by thinking about the transition of a chair's life uh, over time as the uh, kid grows, uh, and it achieves a huge amount in a, in a very small space, so it's a very compact um, package, but um, there's, there's an awful lot of functionality uh, embedded in that. So I thought, well, we thought that was a very impressive um, piece of work. I mean, it's a piece of furniture that lasts as long as a few, few years and then, you know, can fit into the dramatic changes of the kids growing up from infants to three to four years. So instead of, like, I think it's also a nice thing that it will it will be more sustainable in certain ways, allowing certain function to last longer. So ne the next notable of our, or just the last one actually, is the Mobius Leaning Seat by Martin Keane in Portsmouth, uh, Rhode, Rhode, uh, Rhode, Rhode, Island, Rhode Island, USA, for focal upright. So this is a chair. Actually, is a uh, following the award-winning uh, locust seat. So this is the leaning version. It's a simple, a lightweight chair that adapts to your body's shifting standing position. So you're no longer sitting on it. You actually just lean on this chair and getting all the support you want. The idea of this chair is to create a more dynamic uh, interactions between people. So you can quickly sit down, do your thing, chat, and leave. So more of an activity for public space. So that's our professional notable. We are going down to the runner-up now. So Ben will announce the runner-up of this year. <laughs> the professional runner-up is Lightwing by Jean-Marie Massot in uh, New York for Foscarini. Uh, this is a uh, standard floor lamp uh, with an LED um, light source and an adjustable screen to allow the light to be directed as desired. Uh, the jury's comments were that this is minimalist and elegant and made for a delicate and fluid lighting design. The Clever magnetic sphere provides fluid, multi-directional movement as the light transforms from an ambient light to a reading lamp. It reminds me a bit of the Magistretti uh, dim lamp mm -hmm. in its uh, combination of elegance and, and thoughtfulness and usefulness. Um, but I think that it, it looks like it's, it, it will be an enduring design, and I'm sure we will see many of them around. <laughs> OK, so that now. The winner of this year's professional category I would like to announce is Gesture by Steelcase Design and uh, Glenn Olive Lowe in Grand Rapids, Michigan, USA. 
So what we love about this chair, uh, this chair, so it's an office chair actually, and uh, you know, to to really, as you said, standing out as office chair, it needs to be special. And this chair is really special in the way it started off as a, a global study on body gesture. Under the new circumstances, we are more keen to a new way of working with all our tablets, our smartphone. So you're no longer just sitting in a desk as uh, you know as the old ways. So this is the reason we, we like to announce because this will change the life of Southern people. You, you know, become a, a successful product, design product. The furniture design can be as advanced as any new technology we're using today. And an advance in office chair design has the potential to benefit thousands as our lives, lifestyle evolve. By providing a more dynamic support to the body, this chair attempt to encourage movement where we interact with the handheld digital device we love. This project began as a global study on human body gesture and resulted in a stylish chair that will not only carry you comfortably in a work environment, but support you in every move you make while seated. So this is uh, our final announcement for this year's winner. And it, it was a tough call <laughs> to pick. Yeah. You know, we were only allowed to pick that many, and uh, I really think we will see even better work and uh, more and more entries next year. So, thank you for letting us be the jury, actually. Yeah. And <laughs> we enjoyed it. Yeah, and thanks very much. To, uh, in apologies to all the people who didn't win, but um, <laughs> there was, uh, you know, it was very tough, and um, that's, you know, these ones stood out, but there were many, many excellent um, entries. It's interesting to point out that you know that uh, three of the uh, winning categories are to do with um, you know chairs that allow you to move or sit in different ways or adapt to new working practices, new living patterns. Um, so to all those people who think that there are enough chairs in the world. Uh, you're wrong, and uh, thank There's you. There's never the enough with a really great design. There's never enough. People have done all kind of design. We, that's what we want to show that you don't need to be in the most advanced lamp. You can do anything around. You know, with good design, come out from the heart. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're we're good. So <laughs> it's getting dark in Beijing, as you can see. <laughs> yeah, we're doing this outside. In fact. Yeah, yeah we're we like there's some uh, kind of a. <laughs> so. So nice, to, nice. Hope to see everyone again next year then. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. You guys are great. You had me smiling the whole time. Um, you really picked a, an awesome group of honorees for this category. I loved really seeing all the different types of lighting and seating that there is now. It's just, it's really cool. So thank you, jury, for coming together and picking everything and you know debating with each other to to find these winners and. Thanks to everyone who entered. You know, we couldn't pick great winners if we didn't have great work. So thank you. And finally, one thank you to our presenting sponsor, Intuit, for helping to make these live announcements possible. Um, thanks for tuning in. Uh, that's all for now. We have a couple more announcements lined up for today, so we hope to see you then. Thanks. <laughs>